Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you a little bit different video uh, than our junk journals. Today I'm coming to share with you video where I am creating craft crafting organizer or craft supplies organizer for my table. And I will also be talking a little bit about our other channel. We do have kind of like family channel where also my son is sharing his videos. Uh, it's called Bohemian Crafting and Sons. On that other channel, you will mostly see videos with craft like this, where we are creating something from old boxes or we are restoring old things and uh, those videos are just with music there is not talking there is not explanation what we do uh, in the background in that video uh, today i'm creating uh, organizer for myself for uh, my stuff and i choose old boxes from my coffee pots i ordered full pack where there was four small boxes in one large. I saved all these boxes and I decided to use them as my dividers for laces and uh, jewelry. And then I wanted also something where I will, uh, where I will display wooshy tapes, which I will use uh, in one journal. I do have quite a huge amount of washi tapes but always when I'm creating a journal I'm separating those which I want to use inside so this organizer will be on my table and inside I will keep stuff which I want to use for one journal that's what I, I think want to say so as you saw I uh, glued uh, those flaps around those small boxes to make the edges uh, of those boxes more strong and kind of like finished then I glued those boxes side by side one next to each other and I uh, fit them to that larger box uh, to make it more strong and to make sure that those smaller boxes will sit in that larger box nicely and it will doesn't move uh, I used hot glue and I glued from the bottom those boxes into that large one and then uh, I also uh, glued those bottom flaps from that large box uh, on those small boxes. <clears throat> it's a very easy process how you can make some divider, some organizer uh, to use what you've got, what came into original packaging. You don't have to measure anything and it's sitting nicely. So if you ever bought some multi-pack of, of anything, and you want to create your organizer, save those boxes because they are made for each other and uh, you have half work done. The finished look I would like to have uh, as an old wooden uh, box. So to make it more, to make it more realistic, to, to that look of old wood I had to add there some thickness for that I used uh, extra uh, extra pieces of an, uh, an, an uh, of other box and I cut it uh, in the size and glue it on my uh, on my base Divider like this you can use uh, many different ways. You can use it uh, lay down horizontally and uh, put some drawers inside or you can uh, make it stand up vertically and put drawers inside or you can make it as a holder for your books or uh, as I will do today, it can be standing up and it can be your table organizer. Uh, I decided to use as my holder for my washi tapes, uh, roulette book pages and uh, to make it more stronger, uh, I decided to use inside also as kind of like starter, just wooden stick probably does have a little bit different name but it, it's just wooden stick which I glued inside of the first book page and then on that I just roll it and roll it and roll it and glued and glued and glued another book pages uh, till I was satisfied with the thickness. Uh, 
I made two of these uh, sticks and uh, to make them uh, look even more uh, kind of like metal finished I decided to use also fabric cord which I glued uh, in spiral pattern around those uh, book pages sticks. Uh, later on I will finished all of this look with paint and that was the starter of my washi tape holder. Uh, in that next process you will see all these steps I made also how to fix it uh, to my box because this was uh, kind of like spread the moment idea. I wasn't uh, I wasn't prepared with any parts uh, like screws or something like that. So I had to came up with uh, some different way how to fix my holders for washi tapes. And I hope you will like that idea. To make the finished look nice and um, nice and finished of that box uh, I used uh, one large uh, sheet of brown paper and also double-sided tape and I wrapped up that uh, box into that brown paper first and then I used just black acrylic paint as the starter and I paint everything with that black acrylic paint that was for starter but the final look I wanted to have kind of like in a shabby chic style so I chose also white paint and before uh, I decided to do white painting on that black painting I used wax you can use any kind of wax or candle and wipe the wax uh, over the edges uh, and then later on kind of like brush the white painting on those spots and it will gives you distress look and a uh, more realistic look of the uh, old wooden planks. That's what I did on my box. First uh, I added that wax on a few spots then I painted uh, my box with that white paint and once it was dry I used uh, nail nail sand nail file for sanding nails and I sand uh, that white painting from that box it was easy to do because under uh, under uh, this painting was that wax and it was really easy to take it off and that gives to my <clears throat> to my organizer kind of like worn and really beautiful look of the wooden box Uh, for decoration I choose uh, one of the stencils I do have here. Uh, this stencil I found on AliExpress a long time ago and I think I typed uh, home decor stencils and that name showed me AliExpress showed me so many different stencils so if you will be looking for some stencil with home decor go to have a look and uh, type down home decor stencils that will gives you really huge amount of beautiful designs so i did choose one stencil and i did stencil stenciling on both long sides and then for handles i chose this beautiful uh, half cup i think it's called uh, handles I found them on Amazon I will put link down below it will be UK Amazon uh, like United Kingdom Amazon and I found really good deal for these uh, handles so I will put link down below for those who would like to have a look and I decided to use these two handles so I fixed them uh, on the sides of my box First I used a multi-purpose glue and I added that glue on the edges. Uh, with that glue I glued, that was like first first step. And then to fix it even more because it's from cardboard and those screws will don't screw through the cardboard. I used hot glue gun and I put a little bit of that hot glue gun to the hole which I made for my screws then I pushed the screw 
through to that hole and from the other side I had to flood uh, that uh, that the hot glue around the edge of that screw which was peeking out just a little bit just slightly from the other edge and it's holding really well uh, they are fitting nicely to that box and here you can see those uh, that stick I made from uh, those book pages it will be perfect for holding my uh, washi tapes but I had a quite hard time to figure it out how I will fix it when I'm not prepared with any other solution so I choose to use uh, wooden rings which originally supposed to be for hanging um, curtains I hope I'm saying that right uh, like blinders uh, around the window so I do have so many of these uh, wooden rings and I didn't know how to use them and I'm gonna be using them here I do have in my stuff also kind of like elastic bands with that metal edge they are uh, using uh, they are used uh, to be hanging on tacks so here I am using it to hold uh, my extension for my uh, for my rings I will be using two rings between those two rings uh, I glued that elastic band and on that elastic band uh, I added one wooden bead That will be uh, kind of like another part of my holder for that for that stick I created created for my washi tapes. I hope my explanation it's not so confusing. You see what I'm doing in that video. Uh, I'm using quite lots of hot hot glue because it's holding straight away and it's holding really well. And those washi tapes are not heavy to hold. So for this. Uh, I, I do believe it's a good solution of how to fix it to my box. So I will be I will be adding also one wooden bead to kind of uh, make it um, more <clears throat> more interesting and also uh, more useful for me how to also fit it to my box and before I will fit it to my box uh, I decided to paint it exactly same way like I did those uh, two sticks for my uh, washi tapes I used first black paint and I did paint all uh, I created four of these holders for those sticks uh, first I painted them with that black uh, paint and then once it was dry I used same gold uh, painting and I painted with gold uh, gold color and now I will uh, do holes and through to those holes I will push that elastic band which is holding my two rings and I will be gluing it <coughs> with hot glue through to that box and also inside the end of that elastic band I will uh, glue inside of that box as well you will see that in that video it's very easy process and uh, the box is sitting right front of me right now and it's really nice and it does hold uh, everything really well so this was uh, good to do and I'm so happy I did it this way because it does look good as, as well uh, as is useful so videos like this uh, will be here and there posted on our other channel uh, if you like some home decor and uh, if you want to see some good ideas uh, what to do we do have already in there a few videos and I hope you will enjoy them a link for that other channel will be down below as well uh, also other links uh, which I hope you will find useful for for the handles I will try also find the link for those wooden rings and for the cord I use to wrap up around my book pages uh, 
for inside uh, I decided to go same way like uh, in most of my other boxes I use just old uh, beautiful book pages and I glued them inside And here you can see how my box looks like when it's filled up with the stuff I want to use in my journals. This is all my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration. If you want to see more videos like this, please go to have a look to our other channel. Thank you so, so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.